The Takeda were obliterated at the Battle of Nagashino. Yukimura, in an effort to rebuild his forces, returned to his home base of Ueda Castle, but a large Tokugawa invasion force was on its way. Alright, so here is the next stage, Defense of Ueda Castle, and as you can see, this is also a field stage, as I mentioned before, until we reach the next uh, person's story, most likely we're going to be going through field stages non-stop, so, anyways, so the objectives are right here, as you already know, we have to defeat Ieyasu Tokugawa, if Masayuki Sanada falls, if I die, or if the time runs out, we lose. So, the equipment, the weapon, the weapon's the same. The items, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'll leave it like that. There's really no, uh, I mean, the items that I want aren't here. But hopefully I'll get them soon. Anyways. Uh, the bodyguards. I'll leave it like that. Now for the unit info. For the Sanada army. You have Masayuki Sanada. Yukimura Sanada. Which is me. Shigenori Suzuki. Mino Kaneko. And Yorisuna Yozawa. For Ie well, for the Tokugawa army, you have Ieyasu Tokugawa, Masanobu Honda, Taramasa Honda, Yasumasa Sakakibara, Nobu Yuki Sanada, Moto Tadatori, and Tadasuke Okubo. Alright. Let's do it. Army will now surround Oeda Castle from the north. And if you choose to continue to settle in formation, do not charge out recklessly. My secret plan shall protect Oeda Castle from the enemy. Yukimura, do not let the enemy near the north gate. Alright, so the first mission right out of the gate, we have to defeat Masanobu before he reaches that little X over there, which is actually pretty easy. Uh, the only thing is, he is buffed up. When it comes to being buffed up or being a bit stronger than most uh, non-generics, you'll see a lot of smoke coming out of them or surrounding them. That's pretty much the apparent sign of they're going to be a little bit stronger than normal. Uh, mostly defensively. Offensively, I really haven't seen a difference as far as I know, but they're going to take a little bit longer for you to defeat them, so just keep that in mind. Anyways. Uh... I actually forgot to bring something up, um, and those fucking Sky Ninjas. So, if you're trying to interim save, because it took me a while to figure that one out too, and I'm down to 50% health, so, what the actual fuck. Anyways, um, if you're trying to interim save, I'm not gonna do it here, obviously. So, all you have to do is pause it, and you don't really see an interim save, but when you go to equipment, you'll see it here. So you'll be able to save. However, it won't really save and send you back to the main menu. You'll save it, and then you could actually continue on. Um, for me personally, I find that very strange, but you know, that's just me. Anyways. Lots of noble Hondas down, and I got a full thing of health. We won't be far behind. Hanzo, inform me of what is going on inside the castle. Alright. Lure the Tokugawa army into Oueda Castle. 
Now the next mission, well, we gotta wait for this door to open. We have to lure Tadamasa to that X, which is actually pretty easy. Just gotta watch out for that, because like I said, one fucking shot from a musket, and it'll knock you off the horse automatically. Um, and that sucks. Anyways, so now we're gonna lure Tadamasa. So, there we go. Take your time with it. Don't rush it. As long as you're close, he will follow you. Hard to believe, but he will follow you. He's not on a horse, so you need to be careful. Because if you go too far out, he'll start to head backwards and uh, your mission will be a bit delayed. Or you succeeding in that mission will be a bit delayed. So just be careful. But once you're inside, you shouldn't have a problem. Unless that happens, because um, my uh, shield for that saddle was... Alright, fuck it. Let's just go on foot. Because they're one-shotting me off the horse. There you go. If Hanzo actually entered inside, then that would have fucked up the mission altogether, and we would have been fucked. Anyways, so now we're gonna wait for a bit. And what I mean a bit, as in, oh, not much. And now we have to head up there to uh, activate the floodgates. Listen closely, Yukimura. Until I give the word. Do not open the floodgate. Enemy officer defeated. So, you would head up there, and then there will be these three, uh, three barrels that look like that you will be able to hit them, and you can. It's basically gunpowder, and then when you actually hit those kegs or barrels. You need to run away because you'll get hit by it, and um, I know fire ninjas can kill you, but I really don't. I wouldn't chance trying to get yourself hit by those things. So. Um. What the fuck? There you go. Now let's activate it. Run. Run. There you go. And now we're good. A flood attack has taken out the advanced force. Nicely played, Yukimura. Alright, let's not have that strike ninja attack me. There we go. This is the last straw. Honzo, eliminate Masayuki at all costs. He must be made to pay. Alright, now we have to I mean we don't really have to go for these missions, like I said before. But if you really want to try to get 100% mission completion for each every of the uh, characters in their stages, you're going to have to go through with this. And I'm going to show off every mission like I said before, but that won't be till like way later on. So what you need to do is defeat the enemy generals before they actually enter Ueda Castle. And... Uh, if they enter it, then there will be a unique mission to uh, defeat that said enemy general. But uh, if you defeat them before they get a chance to enter, then you really don't have to worry about much. Alright, we're going to go for Nobuyuki now. And he's down. I don't know why I was thinking Nobuyuki-san and I was the one that falls at Nagashino. 
not even close. I mean, I corrected myself at the end of that stage, but anyways. Um, yeah, let's uh, try to find a rider captain and get some health out of him because... Uh, Where the fuck is a rider captain? As you see there, um, Moto Tata actually entered Ueda Castle, so we actually have to defeat him now. As I said before, that mission will only trigger once he enters Ueda Castle. And with Hanzo, He's fucking fast. He really is. So, you might want to defeat him quickly. I think he stops there. That's as far as I got him. Um, I wouldn't chance him trying to reach Masayuki because uh, <laughs> that will probably give your game over. Um, Hanzo is uh, Hanzo is pretty strong. So, in this stage as well. So, that won't help you at all. I'm just saying. Anyways, so here's Hanzo. The Lord must be He's not going to be easy, but we'll make do. There we go. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna wait because that's his true musu. Alright, Hanzo's down. And I said it before, but I'll bring it up here as well. Well, after we see the little uh, defeat cutscene. Once you have better to your weapons, you can actually use different types of charge combos. And that's entirely up to you on. Uh, how you want to toy around with it, but you could. I'm going to throw an example out there. It's pretty much going to be the same combo. The only difference is I'm probably going to tap the charge button the first time and then repeatedly tap the button the second time. So, one, two. There we go. And then. Enemy officer defeated. So, it's different depending on what you do. If you continue to tap it, it'll be one type of charge attack, and then if you just tap it once to hold on to it, it'll be a completely different charge attack. I'll show off another combo as well. Like I said before, there are many different ways to really do these different combos and tricks and all that shit. So, it's a lot more, uh, I'm trying to find the right word here intricate if that's the word I'm even thinking of but it's a lot more detailed in comparison and I said it before and I'll say it again I will be comparing the two games just because of what I have done in my uh, channel or on my channel so anyways so that's one right there and that's the other one Anyways, Tadasuke is down. I really could have used that, like, a while back. Okay, these cannon ears, they... Ugh, I, I don't know what's worse to me. The fucking Sky Ninjas or them. Cannon ears are... Think of muskets, except they shoot multiple times at you in a row. So, you might want to take that cannon ear out as fast as you can. Uh, wind ninjas. And I know I haven't really gone through all of the types of troops, but wind ninjas, when they attack, they spin, they, fl uh, 
flip. I mean, I flip, but roll, more like uh, front roll. And uh, they have a near similar effect when they actually attack you if you're comparing it to a Sky Ninja. So you need to be careful with that. Um, I would strongly advise you to attack and defeat them right away because they will be more of a pain. Um, I mentioned Rider Captains. That's your basic uh, we can win this battle. Dynasty sure. Warriors 3 Guard Captain or Dynasty Warriors 4 Elite Guard. Once you defeat them, you'll get either like a rice ball or that red uh, ointment, which uh, will help big time. Since I'm here, I might as well go, unless the reserve captain decides to go out of bounds, uh, defeat the uh, reserve captain. Anyways, we have done that. How many more left? So we have three more gates if I really want to try to go for every gate in the stage. Or uh, stronghold. And uh, personally, I might just do that just because I know I can this time around. And uh, it's actually more beneficial, as you already know, not only with the uh, actual perks of getting the uh, item experience bonus at the end of the stage, but when you're going through these stages, as you already know, once you secure it, not only it becomes secured, but over a set period of time, that stronghold will actually become yours, and there will be a reserve captain. Well, basically, a reserve captain on your side will show up. So, like I said, it helps. So, if you have the opportunity to uh, secure the strongholds, go right ahead because uh, that will help. Anyways, we are almost done. All we have to do is defeat Iriyasu, and then uh, we're good to go. go and I think they no they didn't okay uh, there he is I saw him on the far right all right now we've secured every stronghold now we'll go for Ieyasu and something I should mention as well I did say Ieyasu is a non-generic, but he's also non-playable. He isn't the only non-generic, non-playable character in this game. We will run into a few more later on. I think there's a total of five. However, when it comes to uh, future Samurai Warriors games, out of those five, four of them eventually, eventually become playable. Only one has yet to be combo playable, and I lost one of my uh, guards. I was not surprised there because uh, he performed his Musu attack dead on on one of them. Anyways, he's almost down. It's taking way longer than it should be. There we go. He's down. Anger is my enemy. I must be patient. What is the point of this victory? I... I will show no mercy in battle! And that's a win. Alright, so that's another stage down. And we have one more. After this. And then... We pretty much completed one... Of the two uh, branchway stories for uh, Yukimura. Anyways, 
that took us 15 minutes and 26 seconds. Not that bad. Not terrible, but could be better. Anyways, we got two new items. The saddle with a power plus seven. Um, I That's actually one of the few items I haven't used. Basically, the saddle, which I'm probably going to be using now um, after I complete this part um, you pretty much start off on a horse and uh, the higher the power the more strong that horse is however there are two actual special horses that you could get and uh, once I get those most likely I'll be using those especially the one um, that I took from Keiji in the last part but that will uh, That'll have to wait. Anyways, so we have that, and then the hair greaves or the wing boots, if you want to call it that. And uh, if you're comparing it to uh, Dynasty Warriors, and uh, we have a uh, hair greaves at plus ten. But um, personally, for me, this really doesn't help me at all. Um, in a few cases, it might. But when it comes to actual field stages, not really. Castle stages, maybe. But I'll talk about the castle stages and siege stages when we get there. But for now... Alright, so here's our points for the bodyguards. Here's our overall score when it comes to experience. All right, now we maxed out on our jump, like I said before. Even though we are increasing our stats at a certain point, our stats will actually hit a certain limit. Each character has their own maximum, so we will never see a character. Um, I believe it changes in Extreme Legends, where you could actually get those stats to full max. Um, I have really not, I didn't really use those specials, but I'll talk about that when we actually get there, and I'll point them out as well, but I think out of all of them, I think one of them I really used, but like I said, I will explain those when we get there. Anyways. Alright, so, I can already tell we unlocked some new stuff. So, actually, we only unlocked one, uh, Vitality, which is basically your Dim Sum upgrade if I'm comparing it to Dynasty Warriors. So, this will increase your overall health. I'm going to do that. Uh, mounted attack increases. I really don't want to equip that just yet. better items could be found. I could always equip that once more. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do that. When you try to level up a certain skill, as you see here, um, the max will either be 3 or 4, depending on the actual skill. So, I just want to bring that up. Um, I know because I always do this. I always try to max out focus and vitality. And the max for that is three. There will be a chunk of them that will be four. Um, fitness is also three. I'm just throwing out ones I know right out of the gate. And uh, I believe discern is also three. But uh, like I said, it's been a while. Um, so yeah, I think we're good here. So, we'll save, and there you have it. You have been watching my gaming adventures featuring Samurai Warriors, and I'll see you in the next part, where we will go and finish off Yukimura's tale. Well, 
first of three anyways. Um, yes, three. I'll talk about that when we get to this stage, the siege of Osaka. And uh, historically speaking, there are two sieges. One, t uh, one siege in the winter, and then the other one is in summer. So that's why you see the uh, summer next to uh, Siege of Osaka. But anyways, next stage, Siege of Osaka. Peace out.